So, I'm going to make another video because I'm just really bored right now. And I want to make as much videos that I can right now. So, I just thought about this. Um, 10 facts, well, 10 things, 10 things about me. Um, I guess I'll start with number one. I love food. <laughs> I love food. Um, it's probably my problem with me losing weight. It's just that I just love food. And I don't even like healthy food. Like, I like food food. Like, my favorite food is chicken. I love pasta, any kind of pasta. Um, I love sushi. I just started liking sushi. And now I want to get it, like, every day. I love Chinese food. Like, I could eat that all the time if I can. But I would gain way more weight because it has a lot of salt and stuff in it. And But I love it so much. And I love crawfish. Um, if you're from New Orleans, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if anybody else out there know what crawfish is. But it's from New Orleans. And it's seafood. It's like shrimp, but better. And I just love it. Um, number two is I'm an only child. Um, yeah, that's why I can make this video since I'm gonna have nobody bothering me. And I'm an only child, but on my dad's side, I'm the youngest to two older brothers, but they're like way older than me. They're not around my age at all. One of them is like 26, and the other one is like 30 in his 30s. And I'm not really close to them like I really want to be because none of us have really lived together. And I wish I had that. Like, I wish I grew up like that, like having two older brothers living in the same house as me, looking out for me like they should because they're my older brothers. I wish I had that, but I didn't because we don't, none of us have the same mom, but we have the same dad. But, but I mostly am an only child. And, and I really consider, like, I consider my cousins, like, my brothers and sisters. I consider my friends as my brothers and sisters. That's why I just, like, if I'm, because I have a big friend group that's, like, another family to me. And I just consider them like that yeah so number three i'm sorry i just got to, i forgot what i wrote down i love oh my two baby daddies <laughs> oh my god like i really love them like for real um leonardo dicaprio that's my husband like that's been my husband for a long time i love him so much but he's he would never commit like he has so many girlfriends like <laughs> He would not even want to probably even be with me, let alone marry me. So, because he had a lot of girlfriends throughout his career. And he even dated Rihanna, so he, he liked black girls. <laughs> so, and my other husband, two of them, uh, is Bruno Mars. I love him so much. Like, he's just, like, so cute and sexy. Like, I didn't even like him like that until now. Like, I always liked I always liked him, and I always liked his music. Like, when I was younger. Like, that's when he came out when I was, like, in middle school. Like, I loved his music and stuff. But I never really looked at him like that until now. This new image he got is, like, okay. I think I like you. And I really do like him. Like, I love him so much. And, you know, he got a girlfriend. But I love him so much. Like he's and he, he's short too. And I'm cool with that. Like, but I don't think he's like the exact same height as me. I think he's like probably like two inches taller. But I heard that he's really short. But yeah, and he's Hawaiian. Always wanted to see what they're kind. Of, they're like never did it. No, I never did it. Like nobody outside my race. I do. Like, I want to try it. I'm open to anything. Oh, and number four, I'm a Leo. Hence why I love Leonardo DiCaprio, but he's not a Leo. I think he's, like, a Sagittarius, so 
Capricorn. I don't know. But uh, I'm a Leo. Born on July 28th. Um, yeah, like, my mom is a Leo. My grandma is a Leo. Most of my family on my dad's side is a Leo. And my mom is a Leo. So I have a sure chance. I think my probably some of my kids is going to be a Leo's too. I don't know. It just feels like a family thing. Like, a lot of people in my family are Leo's. And my favorite animal is like the lion because you know he's the king of the jungle he stands alone everybody respects him and like hence that's why my favorite disney movie is the lion king like i don't i don't really like disney movies like that like i like the decom disney movies but i don't like disney movies that's like cartoons but the lion king like that's my favorite disney movie because like here's the shit like i love that movie and it defines my zodiac sign it's about lions so number five i have a resting bitch face it's kind of a curse and a blessing it's a curse because everybody automatically thinks i'm mean nobody really wants to talk to me like as soon as they well they do talk to me but it's like when they talk to me they'll be like you you look so mean but like you're so nice and I'm like that's just my face this because I keep my guard up a lot I don't know that's just me I guess that's part of kind of like being a Leo having a resting bitch face um I don't like this episode I'm watching friends by the way um well that's probably why I do have a resting bitch face because I just have my guard up so much um number six it goes back to number five. I have a hard time with letting people in, especially like we're doing like relationships and stuff. I don't, I don't, it's like it's really hard for me to really like open up to people, especially like people that I would want to be in a relationship with. Because like my experience with boys hasn't really been the best, but it's also a learning experience, and I can't really take that out on nobody else because I don't really know them. But, I mean, I'm working on it. Like, I don't have a problem with it now, but I did. If I could work on it, I don't care. I mean, I care, but I'm going to end up pushing them away. Like, that's why I have a hard time with letting people in. Because I, if I get too happy, something is going to happen, and I'm going to end up pushing them away. So, be seven, I want... A lot of kids, <laughs> me being the only child, I really want a big family and a lot of kids. Five to six kids, to be exact. I know it's a lot, but I don't want it now. <laughs> like, I'll have it later on in life when I'm married, but I don't want it now. Cause, but I'm so patient with having kids right now. Like, I'm looking at. Kid, people my age having kids, I'm like, I could not do it. Then I just saw one of my friends have their baby in hospital, and I saw how it came out of her vagina. I just can't. I can't right now. Like, I'll feel better when I'm married and I'm older, but now I, mm -mm, nope, not me. And I have kids right now. Number eight, I like being alone. It's, it's a curse, another curse and a blessing. Because it's a curse because the fact that I do want to be married and have a lot of kids, I feel like I'm going to end up being alone. Because, I don't know, because a lot of people in my family didn't really, aren't at all really married. So I don't have, I don't really have that role model couple in my family. Because nobody in my family is actually married except for one person. And it's been a while since somebody else has been married in my family. And, like, it's just, I haven't really had that in my life. So, it's hard for me to, I want to be married, but it's just so hard because I haven't seen that growing up. So, I'm like, how am I going to be married if my mom and dad was together or my auntie and my uncle got divorced? Like, how am I going to get married if I don't have good examples? But I know, I have a feeling that I would get married hopefully and have kids so um and it's a blessing because i don't know i'm just used to staying at home by myself so that's why i like being alone 
that type of alone. Nine. Oh, and it shows that I don't need nobody. So that's why it's a blessing. So number nine. Favorite shows, favorite movies. My favorite shows has to be The Office, Friends. I'm watching Friends right now. <laughs> the Office, Friends, Family Guy. I love Family Guy. I love that show so much. Like, I watch it, like, a lot. I go to sleep to it and everything. Family Guy, Scooby-Doo, because that's, like, the first cartoon that I fell in love with, and I'm still in love with it now. Like, it's kind of like a childhood thing. And another one of my favorite shows is Glee. Like, I love that show. Like, <laughs> it's Glee because I love the singing and everything. Like, it's like a good show. I love that show. Like, it's really good. Um, My favorite movies. I don't really have no favorite movies, honestly, because I like so many movies. But my all-time favorite movie is what have to be like Grease. Because that's the movie I grew up on. I could watch the movie over and over again and not get sick of it. Because I remember when I first watched it when I was a little, I had to be like two years old. Because my auntie lived with us at the time. She would always play all like 70s, 80s, 90s music, TV shows, movies. So that's how that's what I grew up on. That's why I'm so tied to it now. And Grease is like my favorite movie. That's like one of the, that's the first movie I ever watched. And it's my favorite. And I could watch it all the time and not get tired of it. Like, that's just how it is. Um, 10, the last one. I feel like um, I want to be it, but I don't think I, could, I can't because I can't sing or dance. Um, I feel like I'm a love child of Michael Jackson, my fake father. And I'm a love child to him and Whitney Houston because I love them so much. I wish they got married and I wish they had babies and I wish one of their babies was me so I could know how to sing and dance all at the same time. Like, I, oh, then they're like, they're like the most famous people like of all time. And I love them both equally and separately. And they're both dead, which is really sad. But they're like, iconic and like they were friends like i know that um i sound like so psychotic but they they were friends and like what if they dated what if they got married and had kids and what if i was one of their kids like i want to be one of their kids so bad like if they did have kids like i've already feel like now i'm a love child between them two because i don't know I just feel like I'm, I want to be. <laughs> I'm not, but I want to be because I can't dance or sing. But, I don't know. I just love them both so much. Like, you can see this. I love him. It's, like, my favorite album from him. And I love Whitney Houston. Like, she's the queen. She's my mom. And he's my dad. You know, like, he's for, for real my dad. Like, my dad didn't do shit for me. So, he's my dad because he taught me a lot. Like... So, I mean, <laughs> that sounds so crazy, but I don't know. He was like, I love him so much. Like, I'm, I have a poster of him on my wall. And, I'm, and I want to get a tattoo of this, not his face, but of the bad uh, logo, like, on my wrist or, like, on my arm or something. Like, that's how much I love him. Like, I love him so much. And... Well, you can't even see my whole face because I keep doing this. But that's the, ten, that's the 10 things about me. I don't know even why I'm making this because I'm just, I'm just bored. Because um, I don't know. Hopefully somebody will watch it. Because nobody, no, nobody I know knows that I make videos. They just know I want to. They don't know what I already did. So, yeah. I'm done.